Following the ill-fated military plane crash which killed the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahuru and others, reactions have been trailing the incidents of crashes in recent times. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku chronicles some of the incidents with a view to forestalling future occurrences. In 2021 alone, Nigeria has experienced three plane crashes associated with the military. One was on February 27 when seven Air Force officers died when a military jet reported engine failure and crashed near the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja. On March 31, another military jet involved in the anti-terror war against Boko Haram in the country's northeastern state of Burunu reportedly lost contact with the radar. The recent one claimed 11 crew on board on Friday, May 21. These sad events have raised questions on the possible gaps that could have caused the plane crashes. Uh, we have a lot of young pilots. Um, they've been well trained and they have acquired the skills to operate the aircraft, preferably I'll say under normal conditions. But you see, when it comes to operating aircraft under abnormal conditions, bad weather, um, problems with the engine or whatever, it takes a little more skill, experience, learning from either your mistakes or mistakes of your superiors to know how to handle those situations. So it depends on the type of weather conditions they met there. Um, maybe a more mature person would have said that, let's just go back to Abuja, or they had fuel, that's why the actual bumped over, so hey, maybe we'll just go to Kano, and then we'll come back in an hour. And really, the knowledge of Nigeria and the kind of weather conditions we have all over the place, you hardly have a bad weather condition that lasts for more than an hour. Because this is a crash too many. This is the, 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 whole, um, uh, 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 the whole world is looking at the military. That is it possible that the military is not able to operate, the Air Force is not able to operate, uh, they do their operation in line with how they should be done. Opinions from some quarters are that the crashes were sabotaged, even as the recent crash was reportedly due to inclement weather. A spokesperson for the Accident and Investigations Bureau says it's mere speculation that should be ignored since investigations are still ongoing. Whenever there's an accident, yes, there are speculations. People will say this, people will say that. So we have just started, we have just commenced the investigation. We are, we are still gathering uh, facts and the uh, evidences there and there, you know, to be able to do a thorough analysis and then come up with a uh, process of that uh, event. Is climate weather or inclement weather is a uh, near speculation for now. As far as evidence investigation is, uh, is concerned, it's just... Uh, Speculation. Observers say the sequence of occurrence raises a red flag to warrant new precautionary measures to avert more disasters, especially as the rainy season sets in. Jacinta Obiukwe for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.